Hey guys! Today we are making fluffy matcha sponge. Use this for any of your matcha desserts like whole cakes and cupcakes. Let's get started! Okay, so first as a prep, preheat your oven and start heating your water so that we can warm up eggs later. And set cake liners in a pan. And I also like to sift flowers ahead. So today we are using cake flour and of course matcha powder. Depending on what matcha powder you use, the result changes drastically for matcha dessert. If you want it to taste authentic, use pure high quality matcha. The color looks very vivid like this and it creates bright green sponge cake. Next, add eggs in the bowl and sugar and immediately mix. Okay, now let's heat it up. Constantly mix as you heat it again so that eggs are not getting cooked partially. Touch the egg and check. When it is not hot but very nice and warm, remove from the heat. Okay, now let's whip it up. Whip with high speed. By heating eggs, you can whip eggs a lot more with shorter time. And combine milk and oil in advance. I usually like to do it while I am whipping eggs. And now let's check. Scoop a lot with the whisk and draw something. When it slowly falls and the lines stay on the surface like this, it is whipped enough. But at this point, the size of bubbles are big and that leads to rough sponge texture. So whip more with low speed for a few minutes to five minutes with one batch of the recipe until it looks shinier. That means the size of bubbles got smaller, which creates more silky, fine texture. You can draw a number or something and it doesn't disappear. Looking good. Now immediately add flowers and fold. Matcha powder tends to stick around the bowl and spatula and get chunky. So make sure to clean the bowl and spatula frequently on the way so that the batter is nice and even by the time it is folded enough. Alright, as soon as you don't see flowers, add liquids. And mix. How much you fold is very important, so go back and check it again anytime you need to. To see if it's done, scoop a lot and drop. It should flow smoothly like this. When you bake cupcakes with one batch of the recipe, you can make about eight regular cupcakes. And one batch of the recipe is also enough for one six inch pin. Right before you bake, toss sometimes and eliminate some big bubbles. And you can also swirl like this with the toothpick for the same reason. Bake until the center is cooked slow. Bye. And the sponge slightly shrinks in the oven when that happens. You can also check by touching the surface and see if it bounces back or insert a toothpick and see if it comes off clean. 
So in case you want to make the cake higher, I recommend you to bake with one and a half batch of the recipe. So do the same way as I showed with the one batch. You just need to bake longer and make sure your pans or cake liners are tall enough so that the batter is not floating over in the oven. The height of my pan is six centimeter, which is 2.3 inch. Once it's baked, toss sometimes to release some excess steam so that it does not shrink too much. Flip it and let it cool completely. To store this sponge, wrap tightly, put that in a Ziploc or wrap one more time and store in the fridge. And I recommend you to use it up within a few days for the freshness or you can freeze for up to a few months or ultimately eat it right away for the very best taste. Just like any other Genoa sponge cake, which does not contain a lot of oil and liquid, this cake feels a lot more moist with cake syrup. So when you want to make a whole cake or cupcakes with it, I highly recommend you to apply syrup, especially when you have to leave it for a long time. You can make cake syrup by melting sugar with hot water. The most commonly used ratio is one to one. I hope you're gonna try it out and if you did please let me know and how it turned out and how you enjoyed with your family and friends Come cheers all right that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video please let me know and don't forget to check out my other sponge recipes and matcha dessert recipes enjoy pastry living i'll see you next week bye bye